Yeah, welcome to my second tutorial. As I said in the first video, today I show you how you can style up your application with CSS or JavaFX effects. So we will use the project from the first video. Uh, the, it's a very simple application. I will show you. It was just label a button, and when you click the button, the label changed its text. So. I will rename this one to Design FX. So the first thing we need to do is to create a style class, a st sorry, a style file. So I go to New File and type in CSS and create it. Call I will call it my style.css. So you choose whatever you want. And yeah, this is. The default file from Eclipse generated uh, starts. So we will add a root node, or better said, we will override the root class, style class, and this will affect everything in our application. So if we type something here, it will uh, change our complete layout. So I will show you if I say fx spacing 13, I will show you. We need to add the style sheet to our application. I do this. Sorry, I do this right here. I say uh, scene dot get style sheets. So I get all of them and add the one I created called my style dot CSS. So if you move the style file to a package, for example, test dot test package then you would write test slash test so you write package slash your package and then your style, style class name so now the style class is uh, added to our application and as I said I will write the root uh, class so our spacings are now 30 you will see this right now here are the spacing between our two controls. So now I will add some more styles here to this one. I will set a background color. So I will choose BDBDBD. That's just a simple gray. And I will add some paddings to our controls. So let's see how it looks. It's just a gray background some spacing from the left and the top and between our controls. So now we want to get more in the details so I will change our button. So the button uh, has a default class named button so every button you add to to your application is by default in this class, style class. So if I write something here, every button will change. So we go in and start with some font changing. I use Arial and I will change the size so the text becomes bigger and I will change font white which means yeah, you can set bold, italic, whatever and I will give him an extra background color so background color uh, which not just will be a single uh, yeah no single color I will take a linear gradient which is basically a color gradient between two colors so I choose one already I will just paste them here and we will choose another color for the text so this will be this color so we will start and see how it looks like you see the button has completely changed its style uh, text changed background color changed so what we now don't have is we move with the mouse over it so the hoover effect isn't there the function already there that maybe changed if I click on it, but we want to change the hoover effect. 
So we again overwrite the button class. Now we do use the double dot hoover and yeah this is where we can override this one so I will just I uh, will just copy that from here because we just will change the background color and the text color to something new. Just paste it and yeah, here we will just take this. So I will start again and now when I mo move with the mouse over the button it will change and then I go back it change again. So this is how you basically can style up a button. You can choose all of these uh, basic yeah, properties to every other controller, or more, most of the other controls like a label or so. But yeah, I will show you how to customize not all the buttons or all the labels, but just a single but uh, label. So we do this by adding a class called yeah, this you just have to use your own name for the class so not label like this so I will add my custom label which yeah is no standard class st no standard uh, style class and yeah here I can add or you can I can add my properties which are not affecting directly the layout right now so I choose font size Oh, we'll take 40 pixel, and we will choose the font white to bold again. So, if I now start the program, though, I want to change my label. The label is still the same as before. So this is because I don't edit the label to a style class. So the label uh, right now checks if there is a style class named label but there is no so it stays with its default properties so I go right here label text get style class and say add called my custom label so how I choose the class name and yeah now we run it again and you see the label is now bigger also the style class uh, effects it. So this is the first step so that's how you can change your style with CSS S but there's another possibility it's called the Java FX effects so I will show you what there is possible. First of all yeah I just show a simple shadow effect called drop shadow uh, yeah basically you can do these shadows as well in CSS but sometimes you need to be more I'll just copy this sometimes you will be need, will need to be more flexible and yeah maybe you need to change those colors or those colors on the fly which is not possible in CSS so here you can add this and th so this is an uh, effect we will assign this effect to our button uh, we will say set effect to the drop shadow so now our button became a shadow so you see this right here oh and yeah you can define this shadow how it should appear now it just should ap appears right bottom can let it appear top left whatever you want and of course you can change the color so you can define exactly how your shadow should look like this is just one effect there are many others too so there's one effect I want to show you here because it's pretty nice it's called the reflection effect so yeah as the name says you can uh, already think what will happen with the reflection effect. We'll just copy some more code here. So this basically sets the strange of the reflection and the position. So I would start this and ah, sorry, I forgot to assign this effect to our label. 
So I will do this by set effect right there. Yeah, exactly how I added it to the button. I will fraction here. So you see, there's a fraction. You can really uh, design this on your own. You can take it uh, italic or it can more present, more opacity. Yeah, this is basically how you can style your JavaFX application. There is a pretty uh, useful site from Oracle which shows uh, all of the possible uh, JavaFX CSS properties. Uh, I will link this uh, site in the description as it's really, really many properties you can choose there. To, uh, it's the list of every control and yeah, it helped me a lot to choose from if you don't know the exact spelling or the exact possibilities you got and one more thing, there is a default CSS file for JavaFX where it takes its default behaviors so I will show you, it's in the JavaFX RT also the JFX RT file we added in the first video to our project you go in it I uh, just have to check where it was. So, Kamsan, Java FX, uh, scene, control, skin, Caspian, and then the Caspian CSS. This is the default Java FX CSS file. So, it's a really, really big one. Uh, for example, here is the FX. A CSS style for the scroll bar so you see what things they have already done to the scroll bar so you can copy and paste that to your project overwrite those classes those standard classes and change it to whatever you need to um, for your project yeah I hoped I could help you I could show you how you can style your application I hope I will see you again if you have any questions write it in the commentaries and yeah, hope I see you soon.